DNA is a macromolecule made up of smaller molecules called nucleotides. Each nucleotide consists of a sugar, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. The sugar and phosphate is called the backbone. The sugar in DNA is deoxyribose. And the nitrogenous base of each DNA nucleotide must be one of the following, adenine, thymine, guanine, or cytosine. The backbones are bound to one another to form a strand of DNA. Each strand of DNA is bound to another strand of DNA at the nitrogenous bases. Here is how this happens. Each nitrogenous base is either a pyrimidine or a purine. The pyrimidines, which are thymine and cytosine, have a single carbon ring. The purines, which are adenine and guanine, have a double carbon ring. Because of hydrogen bonding, these nitrogenous bases have an affinity for one another. This is why DNA presents itself as two strands facing each other. The hydrogen bonding causes a spiral staircase appearance called the double helix. Now since adenine and thymine have the ability to form two hydrogen bonds, they will only bond to one another. Conversely, guanine and cytosine have the ability to form three hydrogen bonds, and so they will only bond to one another. So when you look at the double helix, where one strand has thymine, the other strand will always have adenine, and vice versa. The same goes for cytosine and guanine. We call these base pairs. Ultimately, the purpose of DNA is to represent a blueprint for building proteins by creating a code that represents the 20 amino acids. Each set of three nucleotides that represents an amino acid is called a base triplet. Using this code, each of the 20 amino acids can be represented.